Good afternoon, it's Mr Hancock here. I set some questions for my class to practice over the holiday in preparation for a class test. They are from review exercise one and I'm gonna go through questions one to nine today. So first of all, question one. We are asked to write down the value of eight to the power of one third. In order to solve this, I need to apply this rule. A fractional index results in a root. In this case, the third or cube root of eight, which is two. And that's question 1a completed using one rule and applying it to the situation. It's worth noting that you could have done that on your calculator. The purpose of this question is to practice the concept which may be applied in situations which you cannot do on the calculator. But to start with, for basic familiarity, a simple example. It's important to practice it though, even though we could do it on the calculator in this case. There are situations later that we would not be able to and we need to gain the familiarity and experience. In part B, we're given a slightly more complex index. It's negative and the numerator is no longer one. In order to resolve this, I have to apply a couple of different rules. The first of those is that a negative index gives me a reciprocal. I'll apply that now. A common error is that people retain this negative even when having applied its effect of putting it onto the denominator of the fraction. The next rule to apply is this one here. When we have two factors giving us the index, two things times together, such as in this case, one third times by two is equal to two thirds, we can apply each of these separately. Keeping it on the denominator of our fraction, I'm now going to apply the cube root that's from the third part of this. And then once I've done that, I'll apply the two, the power of two, which squares it. The cube root of eight, as we saw in part A, is equal to two. So having evaluated the cube root of eight as two, remember it's still being squared, which gives us one over four and our final answer of a quarter. Now you may have noticed from this that there are two options, A inside the bracket and B outside, or B inside and A outside. And this gives me an alternative that I chose not to do. I'll show it to you and explain why. I could have squared eight first and then cube rooted the result of that. That's effectively applying the power of a third after I've applied the two. If I did this, I would end up with one over the cube root of 64. And the cube root of 64 is four, meaning that we end up with the same answer, but having gone via a much larger number, it's easier to cube root eight than it is to cube root 64, for most people. Granted, it's perfectly possible. But generally speaking, if you apply the root first and then the integer power, you'll end up with easier numbers than if you apply the square or the integer power first, followed by the root afterwards. So it's generally easier to apply the root first. That's question one.